It's time to raise your prices. So what do you do? First, you need to decide on the new price. And you're going to use all the information that we've covered today. Yes, you're going to keep in mind those kind of formulas if you have a maker business as well. But you need to decide on what that new price is. And people, it is that simple. <laughs> you decide on a new price. It is a choice. No one is backing you into any corner. No one is telling you what to do. No one is going to say, oh, this is really what you should be charging for this. It's your choice, you make the decision, you are intentional about it. That's the first step to changing your prices. Sounds silly, but it's true. The second thing you need to think about is what you're gonna do for your existing customers. People who make physical products, you guys get off pretty easy on this. Most of the time when you change a, pro a price on a physical product, you're changing the price for everyone. It's just kind of a, carte blanche, this is what we're doing, the price is going up. Maybe you give them a heads up or not, and we'll talk about that, um, but you just raise prices. Service providers often do something like grandfathering old clients in, or they give them an extension on older, uh, uh, you know, they give them a, a, a six month extension, or a three month extension, or a, you can get one more session at the old price, and then you're going into the new price. Some people just grandfather prices in for life, um, you do what makes sense with your own business. Again, this is a choice. Decide on what you want to do for existing customers. There's no right or wrong here. This is your choice. And then finally, you raise your prices. Because remember, no one's paying as much attention to your prices as you are. Um, I used to, to joke an awful lot that um, when I'd have kind of maker uh, clients, they would say, well, how? How do I raise my prices? I'm like, okay, you go into your Etsy listing and you change the number here and then you hit publish. <laughs> and I understand, I'm not trying to make fun. I, I totally understand that this is, this is a decision that takes guts for a lot of us. This is a decision that we spend tons of time racking our brains around um, about. But when it comes down to it, Raising or lowering your price is as simple as going into whatever e-commerce solution you're using or the next time you're on a sales call and saying, my price is this. And being okay with that. Being really okay with that. And just doing it. So that's the third step. Decide on your new price, figure out what you're gonna do with your existing customers, and raise your prices.